And here is the other big story we are focusing on today. Amidst all the other ruckus that is being created inside and outside parliament, a very important piece of legislation was tabled in the Lok Sabha today. It's the RTI Amendment Bill. It was tabled. The minister presented and he spoke about the changes that have been put there. There was a bit of opposition. Two opposition leaders spoke up and questioned these changes. Now, what exactly is the main change? I know of one that I managed to understand. This amendment is attempting to give more control to the government, to the central government when it comes to the tenure and the salaries, the compensation that is given to the information commissioners. Effectively, what will happen here is that the government will get to decide how much these officers and these commissions will get as money. Now, the big criticism is that if you do that, then the financial independence and the autonomy of the entire institution is taken away and then there are fears if a good job will be done or not. Is this another move to take away the power from the tool called RTI? Have we seen that successively governments have amended the law one after the other to completely dilute right to information act as it was initially foreseen and envisioned? That is a big question. Let's say good evening to our panelists. Raman Malik, spokesperson for the BJP. Shailesh Gandhi, former CIC, himself with me in the studios. Anjali Bhalwaj, co-convener for the National Campaign for People's Right to Information. Mr. Gandhi, thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, if you can just explain to our viewers, why is it such a big deal if the sender decides what the officials get? The law makes a provision, and this was done after a lot of deliberations when the law was being framed, that the information commissioners must be of its sufficient rank so that their orders would be implemented and executed. And therefore, it was decided and laid down in the statute that they would be, the central information commissioners would be equal to the central election commissioners, which is equal to the Supreme Court judges. The government has given no plausible reason why they need to demote. And this is an actual practice to demote. This is not to improve their positions. This is clearly meant to demote them. And the argument given by the DOPT minister in the House today was that he said appeals against the commissioners are decided by high court. So how can they be higher? That, that's precisely what he said. Mm. The truth is the, no appeals are permissible against the commissioners before the high courts. Only in rich jurisdiction can a high court listen to this. And mind you, in a rich jurisdiction, even the orders of the president of India or the governor of a state can be challenged. Therefore, this argument is completely facetious and is meant to only demote the RTI commissioners, meant to ensure that RTI commissioners do not act independently. They have said tenure will fix. They could actually make it like a casual labor, saying we'll give one year tenures and if you give orders that we like, we will then... Hmm. I concede that most governments and everybody in power does not like RTI. Okay. Even the earlier government made three attempts to amend the law, which were pushed back. But the government listened to citizens. This time also, this has been done without any pre-consultation with citizens. There's been no pre-consultation and suddenly it's been taken out of the hat and presented before parliament. This is not good. They should trust citizens. They must respect the value of citizens in democracy. And RTI is a very big tool for democracy and for our nation. And citizens must not allow this to be diluted by this method at all. Okay, uh, let me take this across to Mr. Raman Malik. Then, Mr. Malik, do you want to respond to this? What is the need for the government to have so much of control? Why can't we just leave this institution as it's functioning? What is wrong with the current setup? The problem is that one must not forget that those, those people who are today questioning us must not forget in 2002 there was a Freedom of, uh, freedom of, of Information Act that we got in under the Vajpayee regime, which was further improved as RTI Act. So we are not against information, we are not against use of information. 
what is the purpose but of the this fact amendment? Also remains that laws need to be amended. Why? Please explain Sorry? why. What is the purpose of this amendment? Why? Why do? Why do you require? You want? You want laws to be sustained as they were? Why is this One amendment being proposed? One year old acts being continued. This is absolutely. <laughs> but I'm not understanding, Mr. Raman Malik. What are you saying? This is a new law that just came, uh, you know, less than two decades ago. Uh, repeatedly, governments yes, are making and that changes is what I'm to it. Certain my question in the to law, you is: which are over no, don't, don't be vague, yeah, Mr. Raman Malik. If you've come on my end. debate, please so be specific. That, please, so let's. I want to have an informed it. conversion. And, and how does it matter? How is this a yellow card? I don't understand. What do you mean? How does it matter? It matters Gandhi, to citizens, it matters to Mr. democracy. Gandhi, Mr. Gandhi has been a CIC. Would it matter to you whether you are getting 2 lakh rupees or 1 lakh rupees in a month? It would matter. It would, 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 ma would, would matter in your mind? that, that somebody who is in the government is the getting to decide that. Who come into this Why does the government want money? that role? Why do you think that the CICs and the ICs should not be given the designations, should not be given the power, should not be given the salary Tanvi, and the post that they are getting? My asking to you is... The, no, don't the ask kind me counter questions. Come to this post, I am asking you why change it. Integrity. I am asking you Do why you change it. Do you want to say that these people are saleable for, let's say, a lakh more and a lakh less? Mr. Malik, Mr. Malik, you are well aware that in government everything They're goes by hierarchy. If you are high in the hierarchy, people listen to you. If you are not high in the hierarchy, nobody will listen to you. This is obvious and there is no reason. Please then give who, us a plausible reason it? for making this amendment. Is it the fault of the law or is it the fault of the mindset? Please tell us the reason for amending this law. This is one of the best laws in the world. You tell Please me first, leave is it. it the flaw of the mindset or the Mr. Or Raman the law? Malik, I'm sorry if you don't have any concrete answers to the questions that are being asked. This conversation is not going to go anywhere and it, it, it then See, it uh, a becomes a very ill informed debate today. for my viewers, why which I don't money, want. Don't problem? ask counter questions. Either answer the questions that are being asked to you or, or then we can just move on to the other panelists. Do you have an answer to but why this change I'm has doing. been brought? No, you, you are asking a counter question. Back. I'm answering back to you with a question. What is the problem in that? Okay, I'm just going to go move on to Anjali Bharadwaj because I don't want to go around in circles. Anjali Bharadwaj, is there any logic to the government saying, well, CICs and ICs can, cannot be on power with, you know, uh, Supreme Court judges. They have to be in a se separate category. They cannot be defined the same way. Why? What is it that the government seems to be fearing? Look, the only logic is that the government wants to dilute the law. The government here is trying to make sure that people cannot hold them accountable and they don't have to answer and give information that they find inconvenient to share with citizens. The RTI law is considered one of the most progressive legislations in anywhere in the world, the Indian RTI law is considered, and it is being used very, very extensively by citizens. There are almost 6 million RTI applications that are filed every year by people in India, and they are using it to ask about their basic rights and even to question the highest offices of the country, including about the foreign travels of the Prime Minister, they are asking about demonetization, all sorts of important sensitive information is being sought by citizens, which is important for them to have in a democracy. What these kind of moves show is that the government is not keen to share information with citizens under the right to information law and this is a clear attempt to dilute the law. They are doing it by attacking the most important institution under the law which is the information commission because if people don't get information they are asking for they have no choice. They have to go in an appeal or a complaint to the information commission and the commission has a very very important role to play. They can penalize officials who are violating the law and they can direct them to provide information to citizens. So mm. by actually usurping the powers to set the tenure and salaries of information commissioners, 
they the government is trying to undermine the autonomy the independence of the information commissions because they are trying to basically ensure that the commissioners cannot work without fear or favor um, uh, mr uh, shalesh gandhi the point that raman malik was making essentially is that what's the harm in uh, in us deciding what you get uh, if you are uh, people of integrity then how does it matter if you demote their positions their oh, orders yeah, will have that much there. less effect okay. on other people as a commissioner i could order and say so and so authority has to give this information and that was reasonably respected if you demote these people to an under secretary's level you will not be able to get that kind of compliance hmm. two with the what they are proposing they could actually give six monthly contracts to commissioners and if Correct. they like what information is being given they can hold it there correct rti is our first move after independence and after our constitution under article 191a which recognizes this fundamental right codifies it and gives empowerment to the average citizen the poorest citizen in india ask for information because the government belongs to him hmm. the information is the government belongs to him that is the recognition which is sought to be diluted and there is no plausible answer as to why they want to dilute it why they want to degrade and demote the commissions they obviously want to do that there is no other reason and they have completely no answers as to why they are doing it the only appear, appears to be that they want to control the commissions they are not happy with the some commission decisions which ask them to be more transparent than they would like to be they would like to say we will tell you what to do they want the caged parrot and that's the only reason for, for example if you can shed some more light on it what would be the areas i mean i i, I know for uh, for uh, you know recently there were rtis that were filed seeking more information on demonetization with the response in come in but that's also because the rbi is also not willing to give too much of information are there any examples that you can help our viewers understand what kind of information would the government like to block almost every information which shows something corrupt which shows something arbitrary which shows that they are not acting as per rules and laws and there's numerous information like this starting with giving a poor man a ration card or his ration going up to other commission or rafael deal all these get covered and everybody in power dislikes transparency because they don't want to be transparent they don't like the concept of having to answer i think citizens must get together and realize that this is their chance to defend their democracy this is something that has the potential of changing our democracy into a truly participatory democracy a meaningful democracy which respects citizens i think people must hold meetings demonstrations across the nation i want to just highlight some amount of data if i can just come in there uh, and take this back uh, to mr raman malik uh, since he has so many questions here is some data mr raman malik now this is the rti data that has been filed uh, you know by all the public authorities and it indicates for example in year 2015 2016 36913 applications were rejected RTI applications were rejected without giving any explanation this is the highest ever number of rejections that have happened since the implementation of the RTI act now while your government in in in, in three years of your uh, tenure in the first term spent about 3500 crore rupees in uh, print and television ads promoting your own schemes you didn't find any funds for the RTI implementation in fact it was given as a big excuse that there is a fund crunch in 2014 2015 just about 15 crores was spent when it comes to uh, strengthening rti as an institution so please tell me when this question is asked why should we not ask you that you you want to systematically break down the institution of rti by taking away the funds by bringing about a series of amendments that simply dilute the law so that people will never find out what you are doing can we again my question stands there firm how does the money quotient of the rti officer reduces as a iraqi and position does it reduces status does it reduce the job 
Does it reduce the integrity of the person? No, it does not. So why? Why is this question? Is it about money? Secondly, I know what RTI can do and I've worked with RTI activists and I have taken out a lot of information through RTI and brought it to good use of citizens in Gurgaon. So I know the power and I know how it is used. But at the same time, if you want to understand how many handkerchiefs a person is going around with in a day, or let's say you want to understand what all parts have been bought for the country's defense <laughs> and expose it to <laughs> that the any which was gets leaked from the defense the, ministry the apparently. Thing. So why are then you so that worried? has to be questioned, isn't it? That any which was gets leaked from your government and you keep no, wondering why, how why it got it leaked. That, why are, so why are you so why worried? Are the people, why are these people who always go around wanting to have details of the file? They want to have the dis establishment details of the armed forces. So is that why you're bringing why about the changes? Mr. Malik, so citizens own this nation so and this democracy. So is that why you're bringing about the no, changes? Because you don't that. want to be upfront with the citizens of this country? Let me give you another example. The CIC had admonished Who DOPD so? for wrongly there, invoking no, the exemption clause example, to deny Sanvi. information in you RTI are, Act. You are, I'm giving you, you example after give example. Me one example. I gave you data about how Prime many RTI applications been have been denied. I have you given you data about how funds have been denied. I am now giving you data about how the CIC Are pulled up the DOPT for wrongly refusing to give information. The, now tell me, is that why you are targeting the CIC and the ICs? The last, Are you targeting honest officials of because they are questioning the government? Are you targeting honest officials because they are questioning Who's the targeting? government? Here is an example. CIC Do you admonishes know what to DOPT for the, wrongly the, invoking the, exemption the clause to deny information under RTI you, Act. This is a PTI you, story dated 7th no, of July. Do you, do you Tell you me now. Do you know what happened to honest officer under UPA regime? <laughs> do you know what happened to those people who brought about the facts that the, 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 the UPA government was having hanky panky businesses? They were shunted out. There was just off late. Mr. Somebody Raman came Malik, out I... and it was yes, there Mr. on the Malik, social media. Yes, Mr. Malik, thrice the UPA wanted with to amend the right law, but they listened to people. That an ex-serious person to who happened to be on the second most powerful chair was Mr. Raman Malik, I, 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 I hope compromising raw and seats, wait for the day when you respond to my question with an answer and not a counter question as if this is a GK round. Let me go across to Anjali Bharadwaj who wants to make to a point. Yes, Anjali Bharadwaj, please. Tanvi. Then we, I am not Don't answer, then I will move on to, to our other panelists like. who have something you more concrete to add voice. to this conversation. Anjali Bharadwaj, please go ahead. <clears throat> Look, the right to information law meant to ensure that information commissioners can function independently without fear or favor. And wherever the government does not want to give information, they don't have to worry about their tenure, their salaries, about anything. They can go ahead and direct the government to provide information to citizens. And that is why the tenure of information commissioners under the law is fixed at five years, subject to a maximum age of 65 years. And the salary is fixed at the level of the election commissioner, which is the same as the Supreme Court judge. Now, there is absolutely no problem that these provisions have, provide, have, uh, have uh, posed in the effective implementation of the RTI Act. In fact, study after study, research has shown that the problem with the implementation of the RTI Act has been that government is not making appointments of information commissioners. Correct. Governments don't have the will to make sure that the law is implemented properly. In fact, let me put this statistic on the table. Since 2014, when the BJP government came to power, not a single information commissioner has been appointed in the CIC unless citizens have approached the courts and the courts have directed the government to appoint commissioners. Even now, there are four vacancies in the Central Information Commission. Those are the things that the government should be focusing on. Correct. If the government is truly interested in increasing transparency, fighting corruption, those are the things that the government should be working on. 
why is this government going after something which is functioning very very well and trying to actually break systems down and like shailesh was saying they are trying to show the information commissioners that we will now be the deciding authorities and if you give any orders which do not we don't agree with which are not convenient for us you're then out. you're you will have to face adverse consequences Absolutely. then you are out because we you will have to decide to adverse your consequences you have to now, prove this yourself is, to this us this is a clear absolutely at, at, uh, um, we i get your point anjali badwaj i'm to sorry i'm interrupting in interrupting terms of service yes and that's really really disappointing because it just goes on to show that uh, this government and in fact you know it could be any other government they would have probably done the same they have absolutely zero interest in being transparent in being accountable uh, the politicians of our country believe that they are this entitled lot who are not answerable to the people who have put them there and unfortunately when these kinds of legislations are brought to the parliament there's hardly ever any debate it just goes by without anybody creating noise because creating noise about rti is not really going to get them any votes so why even talk about it but thank you to our panelists for joining us and to shailesh gandhi and anjali bharadwaj for highlighting what exactly it is uh, that the government seems to be doing with this very very important tool meant for the citizens of this country thank you for joining us on debate number 2ബിഹാർസ് of the state of bihar and bringing us ground reports so while mr sushil modi is busy watching super 30 and meeting the stars of bollywood in fact he came out to say today that i didn't watch it just once the movie was so great that i watched it twice and so what even if there are floods in my state i can multitask i can enjoy a movie twice while i am ensuring that the flood arrangements have been made mr sushil modi you're wrong your government is badly failing on ground there is absolutely no sign of governance in many parts of bihar even in areas where water has receded and our reporters have managed to reach here is a report that ayushman sent for us on which people are living right now you can see people carrying all their belongings and they have been staying on this road for past 5 days this is the condition the water was all uh, here and the water has receded in some amount for the past few days because the uh, government authorities have claimed that the water is receding and they are trying their uh, level best so that these people uh, can go back to their homes they have been staying here this is the stretch on which they are staying uh, staying for past 3 days and they have been working here they have been trying to accommodate themselves you can see behind me people are standing they're complaining we'll talk to them and to know as to what are their problems sir ye bataiye ki yahan par aap log kitne din se reh rahe hain kya samasyaen ho rahi hain aap logon ko yahan pe rehne mein baad se raat jab jab hi se shuru hua hai abhi se yahan tak us din se lekar ke yahan tak hum log maujood hain yahan par acha aur हर एक चीज़ का हम लोग का असुविधा है यहाँ पर अच्छा। रहने का और खाने पीने का माल मवेशी का हर एक चीज़ का असुविधा है अच्छा। कोई चीज़ का साधन नहीं है हम लोग को और सरकार का